In this video, I'm gonna show you how to bake QDIMS in Blender. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press Shift A and uh, add a cube and duplicate it by pressing Shift D and move it in the X direction. Now I need to join these two cubes by pressing uh, Shift and selecting both the cubes and press Ctrl J to join them. Now go to Edit Mode and select UV Editing. Now you can see the UVs are overlapping, so I need to select this UV island selection and select this UV and move it in the X by one. Now you can see uh, I have uh, I have avoided the overlapping problem. Now you need to select uh, a UDIM tile, a UDIM image in order to pick this. So um, I'm gonna press new and make sure this uh, tab is selected, make tile selected and deselect the alpha and uh, change this to about 248 pixels. Now press OK. Now you can see uh, this uh, has assigned uh, the UDIM tiles for this image. Now, but uh, in this case, the UDIM tile does not assign for this. In order to assign a UDIM tile for this, I'm gonna press N and go to UDIM tiles and press plus and change the number to 1002 and count one and uh, change uh, the dimension of the resolution wherever you want. In my case, uh, it is 2040 by 2040 and press OK. Now you can see it has assigned for both uh, materials. Now I'm going to go to this layout mode and go to shader editor and press new. Now I'm going to add a base color to both of this, a blue color. Now I'm going to change this to material preview mode. Now you can see I have added this blue material. Now I, I need to bake this. In order to bake this, I, I need to add an image texture and uh, select the image that we have assigned before now we have selected the image and we have assigned the material now we are going to go to this and change these two cycles and change the device to gpu mode now uh, in render samples i'm going to select this to 10 because it will increase the render time but by too much so in big settings I'm gonna pick the diffuse because I'm gonna pick only the color data. So change this to diffuse and change the contribution to only color. I don't want, I don't have any lights, so I don't want any direct or indirect lights. So after that, you need to press pick. Uh, it will take some time, then uh, we will wait and uh, until we finish, then we will pick together. Now it has uh, finished uh, baking the textures. Now, if we go to UV editing, you can see it has baked all the textures. Now we need to save, save this texture. It will save these textures as uh, two images. So I'm gonna press image and save us. Now uh, we need to select the place where we want to save the image. So in my case, it is in this folder. Uh, select uh, the folder you want next uh, press save as image now we have saved the image now we need to load this image uh, i'm gonna show you how to load that first uh, you can uh, plug this into this but i'm gonna show you how to plug the texture so i'm gonna press x and add another image texture and i'm going to open the texture where i put this I'm gonna select this and press N and change, uh, make sure this is detect UDMC is enabled and open this. Now, if I assign this, you can see it has detect the textures. Now, uh, if I go to UDMC, UDMC texture, you can see it has loaded effectively the textures. So this is how you bake UDMC tiles in Blender. So thanks for watching.